let's uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, ANZ Bank, who have decided to pull financing uh, and will not be assisting any further financing for um, the coal efforts, particularly in and around the Hunter. Now, this, of course, is, apart from anything else, a major source of revenue that goes back to the New South Wales government. Yet the bloke who wants to be the next Premier of New South Wales cheers on a lack of corporate investment in the very thing that would deliver money back to the New South Wales government. Oh, yeah, time to go to Crazy Keen. Well, they're looking to the long-term trends. They're seeing that international markets are changing the kind of products they need uh, to power their economies, and uh, they see a threat to coal. So why would they be betting their shareholders' money in something that they see as a risk? That's a matter for them as a private company. Now, he either wants to be the next treasurer on the way to Premier or Premier. If you attack the industry that, if nothing else, provides jobs and revenue back, you can't spend a cent on hospitals or the rest of it, Mark. Well, Paul, you certainly wouldn't invest anyone's money in Matt Keane's economic plan. Twelve months ago, he released his net zero emission 2050 plan for New South Wales. And in the first 10 years, it produced the grand total of 240 new jobs per annum. Wow. 240 new jobs per annum matched up against 300,000 jobs in the resource sector, a million jobs nationwide in manufacturing, now, this is just paltry, and it gives a lie to the idea there are jobs in renewables, 240 jobs, new jobs in New South Wales per annum. So who'd invest in that? And he's poo-pooing the prospect of ANZ uh, investing in the port of Newcastle. The project the port of Newcastle wants to get up is the new container terminal, which is actually about diversification of their economy. Instead of being a coal port, yeah. they can load the... Um, uh, the terminal, the uh, containers on for export. Massive, do what they do at Botany. Ma ma yeah, ex exactly. Uh, massive efficiencies for northern New South Wales, and that's a project worth $1.8 billion, 15,000 jobs, not 240, 15,000 new jobs, and a boost to GDP of $2.5 billion. Now, that's a real project. That's real economic growth. So for a state minister to come out and be poo-pooing that and supporting ANZ is shameful. Because what this guy Keane is on about with his 240 new jobs is to wipe out the 75,000 jobs that are coal reliant in the Hunter Valley. And he took a step today, instead of telling ANZ to pull in their head, instead of saying to the federal government, there should be no financial or regulation support for companies like this. If a bank won't invest in Australian jobs and Australian projects like are badly needed at the port of Newcastle, the federal government should pull the plug on them and set up its own investment bank. Because ANZ is part of a woke trend which ultimately is about exporting jobs to China. Yep. That's what this is about. The, the, cost Im, the, 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 the cost impost and the extra burden on our industry, all for no real purpose, is just a bonus for China that powers on with coal-fired power stations, coking coal steel and, um, and um, soaking up our jobs. And 2060 net zero targets, 2060 while... Well, they're not going to meet those. I mean, not. there's they're... no pressure on them. They'll do their own thing. Yeah. They'll power up their economy while we export our jobs to them. 